Hey love, so I've been, um, <laughs> had a few messages come through, um, on a, did I, did I do a tutorial on my, um, my box album cover? Um, no I didn't. <laughs> so, um, this is for, um, the ladies that have asked, but it might end up on YouTube, so, um, <laughs> Because I know others will be asking. Um, oh, this is so hard to explain because this is how I craft um, on my own and why I do it on my own. It's hard to explain what I do with things. So bear with me. Um, I did have my pen here. Oh, what can I do with my pen? I should have my pen ready. It's probably underneath all this. Did I oh, there it is. <laughs> I did bring it over here. Right, so what you want to do, so I did this on the floor. Um, obviously, it's a big project, so I did this on the floor. So I might not be able to do it on here, but we'll give it a go. Um, so you want to do a full page of the house in the elements section. Um, whether your letter size or A4 size, just print a whole page and cut it out. Um, you'll need to do four, so it don't matter if it's the one with flowers on or not. But um, And then you want a big cardboard box. Um, that's here. I keep saying, um, I've found a box with a bend in it already, so make use of these bends. Uh, for the the side um, the side of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that one and line it there to the bottom, and then you're just going to rough sketch oh. around the box. Um, around the house like that okay and then depending how big you want your um, your spine then what you're going to do is you're going to get another one but you're going to cut the roof off just the roof okay and you need to then put it that down to let's say there and actually what I did do for the spine and I'll show you I did cut right near the windows there and exactly on the other side just leaving a small gap either side of the windows okay so that's going to be your spine I'll show you on this one so that's how big my spine is um, and then put this roughly there and just draw a line okay and then you want to go to the other side trace around the house okay like that. then you want to cut out um, just want to try and see if this will do my ruler
な。Off and chuck that on the floor. Put that section off and chuck it on the floor. Right, and let's do this one here in a minute. As you can see, this is why I did do it on my floor. Because uh, it's making the um, camera bounce all over the place, I'm sorry. Right. So that's just... Try to um, do this with the scissors. Down. Ooh. Right. So that's the cut out done. <laughs> Okay, so turn it over. Now I haven't got my line um, for my spine there, so what I'll do is I won't cut into it, but I'll score it enough so it gives it a little bend there. And that's basically your shape. Um, do. Stop saying um Nicola. Let's bring these back in. Hopefully they will line up. Like this. And you want to glue them too. Do some glue. <laughs> I'm just um, <laughs> being silly here. Put that one on there. I keep you in the picture whilst um, in the frame. My cardboard is exactly to size. That was a rough template, but you can trim it up. Then do this one. So 
haven't cut this, um, I haven't measured it, I've just added guesswork and done it from eye. Just to show you basically how I did it. So there is going to be a little gap in between. Um, it's, uh, it's stuck there. And then if I can find my, what did I do with you? My ink. If I can't find my ink, then I can't show you what I did. Hmm. It's probably here somewhere, but I can't find it. So what I did was I inked um, with my dark ink all the edges of the cardboard and around the sides. And... Um, yeah, that's basically how I made made the house. On the inside, I did the same, um, exactly as I did. Oh, so I knocked it. On the outside, I printed two more off and stuck them to the inside, and one more on the um, the spine on the inside. And that's how you make the cover. Um, stop saying I'm Nicola. I'm so aware of that at the moment because it annoys me. So for the spine or making an album, Carrie Han has got um, tutorials on doing that. Basically, um, oh, um, um, <laughs> annoying myself. So what I'd normally do is I'll fold. I'm not going to be perfect here by any means. This is just a brief showing. I will fold like that. And then I would cut. One like that out. So these are going to be where you attach your inserts and glue them on. Like that. So they will fit one there. So I'll glue that into place. And then I will do another one slightly smaller in the inside and then I'll glue that inside like that and then I'll do a smaller one and attach it like that. So basically, they're your um, spine inserts where you, you glue each section and slot into place. If I can briefly show you my method in doing the inserts. Because we're working with A4, I do most things with A4 and not use a ruler or measuring so if you can see my inserts are exactly the size of A4 and then I would measure the box so difficult trying to show you yeah um, from the centre fold out to the edge so I would fold that one like this 
and I'll fold that one like that. And then I'll get another bit and I'll glue. Normally I would be trimming these up um, just to get rid of the surplus and then I'll glue edge to edge like this. Now you can either fold this up and it will become a pocket. You just glue them down like that. Um, but there is your your insert. So when these are glued, these should slot straight. I'm saying that these should slot straight on. Um, what have I done? Done something wrong. Okay, so if that happens, I should, should, hang on a sec, I'll redo that one because that did not show you correctly. I did it sideways and not lengthways. Right, so let's try this again. So we're going to go that way, that's how I went. So I'd fold that one like this and that one over the edge. Silly me. Paper cut. Like that. Right. Then I would put this one. So forget the last one I just showed you. I did it totally wrong. I have got a paper cut. I cut myself. I'm bleeding. Oh, no. Take me to the hospital. Oh, no. I've got a boo-boo. Look. The blood. Right. To those girls that told me to do this tutorial, I'm going to sue you. You know you are. <laughs> Making me do these things. Right. So it's exactly near on like I showed you. You can either fold that up and make the pockets there. Um, let's bring back this because this would be stuck down. Actually, that could be trimmed up. Um, trimmed up a little. Actually, my method was right, was right because this actually could be trimmed. I never measured like that, so it's going to be too big now. But regardless, they will still slot in, and they still will hold um, like that. So if I did bring the other one back that I did do. It should fit perfectly, which it does. <laughs> so whichever method you choose, that's just basically how I would do it. I would measure it um, from there to there and fold, fold in on itself. And that will be, once glued in place, your inserts. And um, if you do, overlap around the edges so just say that is in place and it's stuck and you've closed your album and you have an overlap you just mark your overlap and you trim 
you trim off and then that way you can insert and it won't overlap and you've got your inserts and you've got your um your spine so it kind of goes like that <laughs> i hope i've explained this without um <laughs> Oh, it's so difficult. This is why I don't do these tuts. I just do the easy ones, okay? <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's how I did my my doll's house and the inserts and the spine. I don't like the look of the, the white there. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do there. I might add some lace in the middle of them to cover that up yet yeah. this is the basis of all my albums that I do do and how I create them just not as um, <laughs> crazy as as what I've just showed you I do take a little bit longer to do them I made a boo-boo here earlier uh, as I was gluing the insert in, it's stuck and ripped that, so I'm going to have to repair this. And I'm only saying this because people are saying, do you do mess ups like I did in my other tutorial earlier? I put too much glue on the button. As you can see, there's glue here. And there is glue there. That's took off um, the paper. So I'll probably put a little bit of lace there to cover it up. And I'll probably cut out one of these. And I'll glue over the top so that covers that up. And um, I'm just showing you basically things that look perfect aren't perfect I've cut into here a bit too much so I don't normally show my mess ups um, this one here I've just noticed the glue seeps over the edge Because this is how I rush my projects and uh, I do not do the measurements and everything perfectly. Um, this one I'm quite happy with, the mechanism and the moving pram. But this is the fold that I showed you that I did, the fold and overlap which makes a pocket but I hope that has given some help to those that want to create a doll's house album cover and if you got totally bored then I know that you didn't watch it but I'll say bye to those that still are take care bye